Good morning, good morning. Do 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to a daily dose of joy. We are choosing to dose our brains with positive neurotransmitters on the fly in five minutes. Simple little games that positively affect our brain's capacity to produce dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. We have got this because what you repeat becomes permanent. So repeating these games throughout the day, five minutes here, five minutes there, um, they create a, a transformed brain. It is so different to have a brain that is default state is dose chemistry than to have a brain whose default state is can fear chemistry, cortisol, adrenaline, norepinephrine. So we're doing it, we're doing it every morning on a daily dose of joy. You can join me and we can do it together here. You can also come on and join in on the micro dosing group and we'll dose our brains together there. So today we are going to do a laughter flow, five minutes of laughing and letting it dose our brain. And so I like to give you guys hints and clues, things that have helped me go from somebody who couldn't laugh who could just simply point at things and go, oh, that's really funny. Like intellectually, I got it, it was funny, but the spontaneity was not there. And now it's hair trigger laughter. But I try and think back to like, what are some of the things that would prime my pump and get me going and get me laughing so that I could laugh for five minutes. And um, you can just laugh, ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. That's cool. Eventually the more spontaneous laughter will come. Just laugh along with me for this five minutes. And I'm going to um, just tell you all some of the things that come to me as I go. And one of the ones, <laughs> think about it. One of the ones I was thinking of as I was starting is I used to imagine a friend of mine, um, I used to imagine him with no shirt on and a pineapple on his head walking through the airport as though nothing was happening. <laughs> so, Take, come on, take somebody you know and put them shirtless with a pineapple on their head in the airport. <laughs> Imagine with my dad, it cracks me up too. Oh, oh. Mm. Or someone in diapers, maybe? <laughs> Come on, let it sink in. Just imagine somebody you know sitting in. So uh, the, the reason that one came about was my 13-year-old son, we were down at our farm and he went inside to go get his bathing suit and couldn't find it, but opened a drawer where I used to years ago keep his diapers and there's still a stash of a few in there for guests and things like that. So... <laughs> comes out to the pool and he is, I mean, I don't know how he got into it. It was, it was on like a speedo bathing suit and like, and the Velcro plastic tabs were like straining to hold each other, but he comes waddling out in a diaper. <laughs> oh, so, you know, maybe instead of imagining your audience naked, you imagine them wearing huggies. <laughs> some go-to images you hold in your head um, that could help you jiggle your giggle box. Um, <laughs> okay, so I just thought of one of like a swami, you know, like a turban wearing, peaceful, lotus position, meditating, 
swami or guru, but they are sitting, <laughs> they're sitting in a cart at Walmart. <laughs> You know, they're, they're sitting on one of those end, end stations at Walmart. Just complete juxtaposition of two worlds, you know? Walmart and Swami in a deep meditation, you know? <laughs> sitting on a stack of Charmin toilet paper. I don't know. Like, <laughs> y'all are seeing behind the curtain of my mind. <laughs> oh, um, but you know me, this is how... I show y'all how I move into it and get writing you big permission slips that it is your opportunity to let your imagination cross pollinate with your intellect <laughs> and just see what comes, see what other, um, anachronistic sort of images, um, something with bacon. I'm from the South. Bacon's like a vegetable down here. Um, mm. <laughs> so I just imagined like a garden pot. <laughs> and instead of heads of lettuce, there's like these bouquets of bacon. <laughs> I just imagine these people out there picking tomatoes and chomping on them and chomping on crispy pieces of bacon. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's go back to the airport. What would you see in the airport that could make you giggle or laugh or would be unusual? Um, if you were meeting your grandmother at the airport and she came up the escalator to baggage claim wearing an Easter Bunny outfit. Her regular pocketbook, you know, <laughs> the big pink satin ears, big fluffy costume. <laughs> and before you see her, you see, you see his ears pop up for the escalator. <laughs> well, if it's like Atlanta, there's this, you know, two mile escalator down from the bowels of the earth where the trains are that come up to baggage claim. So when you're up there anticipating your long awaited relative or loved one, you know, you don't, you only see the tall people at first. <laughs> so let's just imagine these two big pink bunny ears emerging. It's all you can see down that escalator. It's these big ears. <laughs> I might be back on this one day and be like, what was I doing? Oh boy. Mm. Okay, because I just think it's important for y'all to kind of see it in action because uh, one of the things that's happening is your mirror neurons are actually um, activating, watching me. They're, it's it's priming your brain to laugh even if you're not feeling it yet. Um, watching people laugh. <laughs> it's having positive effects on your brain. Even better though if you're at least going, ho, ho, ha, 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 activating that diaphragm. You can do it, you can do it. <laughs> and on that note, I wanted to give you that, like, this doesn't have to be super funny. It doesn't have to be clever. It doesn't have to be anything. But like the childish joy of laughing. <laughs> Rabbit ears. <laughs> and pineapples on heads. <laughs> And folks wearing diapers. <laughs> I'm so curious what is percolating in your mind right now. <laughs> I know you've got something good. I know you've got something good. I know you do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so back to the airport. What else, what juxtaposition could we create in the airport? What kind of, Mary Poppins could be there. Um, <laughs> Alice in Wonderland with flying teapots. <laughs> A 
orbiting her head. <laughs> no, let's see. Um, hmm. Um, hmm. Imagining somebody you know who's very serious, somebody who's rather serious. <laughs> I don't know any of those people anymore. Okay, I'm trying to think of something. Very serious, 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 serious. That's actually really tough. <laughs> Nobody looks too too buttoned up anymore. <laughs> Not through my eyes. <laughs> but imagining a serious person. Okay, I got one. Got a serious person. Imagine that serious person. And they're in the airport and they're wearing giant fluffy paw costume. They're normally dressed, just totally normally dressed. But like their hands are like puppy paws or kitten paws. <laughs> and they're just talking to people in the airport, not knowing that their hands are like this. People are looking at them very strange, disturbed. What is going on? <laughs> okay, that one, that one might have fallen flat. That was just weird. <laughs> that was funny. It was just weird. <laughs> I like weird, so... Oh, well, I hope that that laughter flow gave you guys some ideas. Mm. Some ideas how to look at things a sconce, tilt your brain on its side, <laughs> and just see what kind of images come. Help percolate your laughter. Percolate your laughter. Oh, let's take three gentle breaths together. Mm. 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 I love being here with you. And those three breaths at the end are always a celebration. It's celebrating our solidarity, that we are rising together. We have got this. I hope that today delights you and surprises you in wonderful ways. And I look forward to spending this time with you guys again tomorrow. Bye.